I was coming in here this evening, and um, I'm probably at the age, you know, where um, I do daring things every so often, like deciding I'll wear jeans. And I was going to wear a pair of jeans, and I said, you can't go in to interview the master of Hollis Street Hospital uh, wearing a pair of jeans. <laughs> So how cool is she? <laughs> Rona, um, head obstetrician, master at our busiest maternity hospital. 10,000 babies, 10,000 babies every year. And you've got overall responsibility for the mothers and the babies and the 700 um, staff. Just wanted to say to you, have you any idea how wonderful it was for people of my generation when they made a woman master of a holistry? Finally, I said, there is a God. <laughs> Were you a very bright little girl? Um, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Um, no, no, I wasn't. I was a very normal little girl, I think. Um, I liked school, though. I was sent off to school at three because I had an older brother and sister who knew everything. And when you're the youngest, you know nothing, you know what I mean? And you don't understand that this is just a function of being the youngest and you haven't been to school yet. So I had a lot of to compete with. So I badgered my mother and eventually in desperation, right then, I'll send you to school and we'll see how you like it. And I actually loved it. I really did. Yeah. Um, and I remember my first day and everyone was crying in the back of the thing and I was straight up to the front. Yeah. And I had like a whole selection of all the toys and the mola all to myself. So that was my first day. And I actually <laughs> remember really clearly yeah. um, the purple mola, you know, and some mola is really hard and some is mm -hmm. really soft. Some you can work with, some you can't. And that was it. And I loved all the other stuff in school. I have to say the one thing about me is I did not just the schoolwork, but I loved playing hockey and tennis and the debating and whatever was happening, I'd be rolled out, you know what I mean? The cricket team, I wouldn't have held a cricket bat and I'd find myself in front for the cricket yeah. bat in my hand. I'll do oh, it. What do I do now? <laughs> you know? um, yeah. The school magazine, all of that. So it'd be great fun. I had a great set of friends who are still my friends today. Um, and You're a north side girl. I'm a north side girl, I am. Yeah. I'm born and bred in Rohini and I'm still on the north side. I've never left and yeah. I'm very proud of that. Well, listen, when did you decide you wanted to be a doctor? Mm. People often ask me this. I think it was early on. I had the, I always say the story about the Fisher Price, you know, medicine set. And there was a nurse across the road from me, Mrs. Redmond, and I think she was instrumental really. She was a very exciting person and she would go to work and come back with tales of all kinds, you know, from the hospital. And she was also really generous and lovely and brilliant with children. She would have things like, you know, milk and digestives just when you needed it yeah. and you know, little right. things and she was really entertaining and um and she we would play nurses and doctors in her back garden and it was a very open house and I yeah. absolutely think that was the first and bit by bit it was just interesting and then in school biology like I was interested in how did I work how did I function and um, but, but but you didn't like many little girls might have say oh, I want to be a nurse interesting no in fact I was a tomboy so yeah. um yeah completely in fact my initial career looked like more of a military career I was you may not know this but I was captain of the Maywood army when I was six you were not. I was. Yeah. No, not everyone. I think everyone knows it now because I say it. Yeah, we had the Maywood Army. You know, you all laugh. This is a very serious business. We were protecting the lower half of Maywood Crescent. Nice. Um, and there was the Nocturns and the Fords down the road, and they were quite formidable in terms of enemy. And garages were raided and weapons were made, and we trained. It was very serious. And we trained. Yeah. We had ranks. We had reporting lines. That was my first sort of exercise, I suppose, in governance, you know, which was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and did happy. you beat them up? Oh, we did. I got, but Terence Ford stuck his finger in my eye when I was about six, and that kind of put a stop to my gallop a bit. I realised then that this was, there was, you could also be injured, you know what I mean? So um, he did me a great favour. I realised then that, you know, fighting, brute force wasn't my thing. And of course, as we got older, I kind of got smaller and the guys got bigger. You know, know what so I mean? the human yeah. collateral issue sort Completely of Completely became more obvious to me, and I realised I was going to have to maybe develop other strategies, yeah. But the decision then to become an obstetrician, I mean, where did that come from? Yeah, it's interesting. I suppose I went off to the old university and I was studying medicine and um, UCD is a very special place to study obstetrics. Um, we have an amazing professor, Colin O'Hurley, and when you're a student, when you get to the hospitals, they always say some people switch on. And, you know, up to that, I used to get 56% in everything I did in UCD, like it was biochemistry and it was all very dry and it was all paper stuff. And suddenly you go to the hospital and you see people in beds and you're beginning to translate everything you've learned. But you're often at the end of a ward round and, you know, you're kind of jockeying along. And 
when you go to Hollow Street, though, um, that's it. You're part of the team. You deliver babies. It's really hands-on. You must come to your lectures, and your lecturers must give you the lecture. It's very disciplined. Um, but you learn so much in a short period of time. And mm. I think, you know, obviously, you deliver your first baby. And I think for some people, that's that. You know, like, it's amazing. You know, the baby just kind of takes a little shudder, and then off it goes. And you just think, who will that be? It's an amazing moment. Was and that I just, sort of moment for you? It was. It was that kind of aha moment. I just yeah. went, 